Now that we have our first article created, I want to jump in and start doing some template coding so we can start to see a little bit of the reward for all of this work that we've been doing in the control panel. Because the real fun to me is working in the templates and starting to see things come to life. And I want to do as much of that as possible as early on in the project. So here is our home page from Expression Engine. And I want to start by lighting up this here. This is our featured homepage news article. It has the huge image, it has the headline and the excerpt and then a link. So we're gonna focus right now on just lighting this piece up. So back in our template, we are in our site group and the index.html template. So up at the top here, we have uh, all of our standard markup. This is shared across all the templates and we'll talk about how to reuse that later on. But down a little bit further, we can see in the content div, we have this class of feet stories or featured stories. And that is where we want to work right here. So I have a photo here and then we have the image here, right? We're going to leave this image for now. We're going to deal with images and entries when we look at the file manager. For now, we'll leave it alone. But we do want to make dynamic this headline and this entire uh, little excerpt here and then the link to read it. Now below that we have those three entries which are also featured but kind of secondary. We'll deal with those in a moment. Before we code, let's talk about some basics of the Expression Engine tags. So Expression Engine tags are surrounded by curly braces and most of them will use EXP like that to specify that they are Expression Engine tags. In our case, we're going to use the channel tag and we're going to use the entries flavor of that. Now some Expression Engine tags are single tags, which means that you don't have to have a closing tag like we do here. The closing tag is the same as the opening tag, except that we use a slash to close it, just like you would with HTML, right, where you have the closing tag. No different than that. It signifies the end of this tag. And in Expression Engine, we call those tag pairs. Now inside of here is where we will output things like our content, stuff like title or news excerpt or news body. That's where we would put stuff like that. And this defines what we want to output here. How many entries we want to output. It defines the type of entry we want to output. Maybe it's by status, maybe it's by category. We have some ways here of defining that further. The first thing we want to define though is where we're going to pull the content from using the channel parameter. And we do that by specifying the name of the channel. That's that short name in our case, remember it's news. So this is the type of expression engine template code that you will be using the most. EXP colon channel colon entries and then defining which channel it is. This is the basic template tag that you'll probably be using the most as you're building a site. All right, so let's take this and drop it into our template here on our home page. So because we want to output our entire featured article here, and we're going to want to do the image later, I'm going to need to start right up here. I'm going to go above this main row because this is going to be unique to the content. So I'm going to do exp colon channel entries and then the channel will be news. Now down here I always like to immediately go and do my closing tag so I don't forget it. It's going to be on the outside of that closing div and again it's slash exp colon channel colon entries like that. And so now I've surrounded this entire markup here with our channel entries tag. 
What's going to happen now is when Expression Engine processes this template to display it in the browser, it's going to say, okay, like I see a channel entries tag. I know that I need to find any tags or variables inside of that tag pair and process them accordingly. So uh, we don't have anything here yet. So what it would do right now is just take in this markup, look for tags. If it doesn't find any, it just spits the whole thing back out again. I want to do a couple other things though. I do want to limit this to one because I want to make sure that I'm only showing a single entry here. And let's go ahead and add in our title. Do that. And then for this, this will be the excerpt. Let's go ahead and soft wrap that. There we go. So this will be the excerpt. So in here, I'm going to place news underscore excerpt. And then here for the link, this is going to use a tag called title permalink. And then we pass in the path to the template that we will use to display the full entry. Now it'll be in the news template group and it's going to be called uh, view. Now I haven't created this template yet but I know that I'm gonna call it that. So I'll go ahead and add it now. All right, I'm also going to do dynamic equals no. And that means I don't want Expression Engine to use the URL to show the entry. So dynamically showing the entry is something you would do on the news entry view for a single article. Expression Engine will smartly display based on the URL. I don't want to do that here because I'm on the home page. All right, let's save that and take a look. So on our home page here, we can reload. And everything looks similar. So we still have our image because that's still static. We'll deal with that later. And here is our title, my first news article and our excerpt. And then the continue reading link, which will go to channeluniversity.dev slash index.php news view and then the slug for the article. That looks good. Looks like I can also link that up on the news articles headline here. So back in my code, I'm just gonna grab this title permalink tag and drop it right there so we can reuse it. And now everything looks good. Let's reload that. And there we go, now we have them both linked. All right, so we're going to move down the template now and look at these three here, but I need a way of distinguishing these articles. This one on the homepage, this is a featured article. I have to have a way of knowing which one to display here. Right now, I only have one article, so I'm just displaying it. But if I had 100,000 articles, I want a specific one here. I want to be able to say as an editor of the site or the newspaper or the article, I want this one featured on the homepage. I wish there was a way of saying, feature this on the homepage. Well, there is, and we're going to do that using statuses. So let's go back into the control panel, go to developer, channel manager, and then on the left we have called status groups. So let's create a new status group. And just like we did before, we're going to call it news because these statuses are going to be used for the news channel. We'll save it. All right, so let's go ahead and edit these statuses. By default, Expression Engine will give you open and closed. It does that because you have to have open and closed for some entries, otherwise they won't show. But it gives you open and closed so you have that option. I want to create some custom statuses. I want to call my first one home page featured. So I want to have this status determine that an item is featured for the home page. And then I can use this status to display that item on the home page. We can do colors here. Just make it uh, some sort of green. There we go. So it's a nice home page featured badge here and permissions, this will be good, and we can save it. All right, and there is our homepage featured status. 
Now let's create another one. And that one is for these three secondary articles here. These are also featured. I want to specify what's shown here, but I need another way of specifying them. So I'm going to call these homepage secondary. So let's create a new one. Homepage secondary. And we'll create this one to be some sort of mustardy yellow. That looks good. And we'll save it. And there we go, home page secondary. Now, under my channels, I'm going to go and edit this. And I need to make sure I specify the status group to be news. I have to associate, associate it, otherwise I won't be able to see it. And we'll save that. And now when I go into my entries, my first news article, under options, we have the status here. And I can choose open, closed, homepage featured, or homepage secondary. For this one, I want it to be homepage featured. So we'll save that and close it. Now you can see the status has this little badge of homepage featured. So that means I want to feature it here. So the only thing we have left to do is to update our code to output the entry with the status of homepage featured. So to do that, I edit my channel entries tag pair and add a new parameter called status and then the name of the status, homepage featured, like that. It'll take spaces like that if you have a, a status with a space in it. And it doesn't matter the order that you put these parameters in, I always try to do channel first, is the broadest. Then I always try to do a limit. But you could argue that status should go here. Perhaps. It doesn't matter as long as you have all the parameters that you need. So now back on our site, if I reload, there we go, it still displays. Now if I go ahead and edit this, under options and make it just open and save it. Now when I reload, it'll be gone because I'm looking for home page featured and there isn't an entry with that status. Let's go ahead and change it back. Now you might be thinking, okay, Ryan, if I have home page featured, but I have lots of entries with homepage featured in my news section because that's, you know, how it goes. I don't want to go back and change statuses. What will happen then? Well, if I added another article with the homepage featured status, the most recent one is the one that will show here. And that's perfect. That means it overrides what came before it. And that's what I want. The statuses of the entries themselves won't change, but the most recent one will always show here, which for my workflow is exactly what I want. All right, now let's quickly create three more articles, give them the homepage secondary status, and then light up this section of the homepage. So back in here, I'm gonna create a new article. Say my second news article. We'll give it a short status. and a body, and then a status here of homepage secondary, and then we will save and close. All right, now we have that one, homepage secondary. I'm going to create another one, my third article. You can see I'm very creative with my naming here. And we'll trash that. And put a little bit of placeholder content in here. If you're interested in this, I'm using Text Expander to expand these snippets very quickly. I had someone ask me about that recently over email, so I thought I would mention it here in case you're curious. Homepage secondary is the status. And then save and close. All right, we need one more because we have three down there and I want to populate them all. So this would be my fourth article. 
So this is one paragraph. We're we'll, going to shorten it. And this one we do two here. Make sure we get our statuses to be homepage, secondary, save and close. All right, now we have four articles, three with the homepage secondary status and one with homepage featured. All right, let's code up this homepage secondary area now. So it's the same routine as before. We want to use our channel entries tag pair and we want to now show a different status and also a different limit. So how is this marked up here? We have an unordered list. All right, so that means I need to go inside the unordered list because Expression Engine will iterate over the markup for you. Let me get the right name here while I'm talking. Expression Engine will iterate over the markup for you and output it. So we want to make sure we get inside the UL. If we were outside of that, it would actually create a UL for every entry. So our channel is news. Our limit is three. Dynamic equals no. And then our status is home page secondary. All right, we're going to go down to the end of the first list item outside of the closing li and close our channel entries tag pair like that. Now we don't need these other two list items that are in the static content here. And that's because Expression Engine is going to iterate over this li markup and everything in it. And it will output it for every entry that's returned for all three. So we get the markup duplicated automatically. We do, however, want to update our content. We want to use the title tag, which is the title of the entry. Remember, we renamed that to headline for the label, but it doesn't change what the variable is called. And that'll be the title permalink right there. And this will be our news excerpt like that. Now, if we have everything set up right, we should get three entries on our homepage. Oh, here we go. Let's put our title permalink here for the image as well. We're going to leave the image as static because we're going to deal with images later. So let's check out our work. Reload. And there we go. We have our fourth article, third article, and second article. And you can see that it's doing it reverse chronologically, right? The, the most recent one is first in this output. And we don't have this one because this has a different status. We're only outputting the homepage secondary status here. And if I click on it, we get to go to my fourth article site. We go to the my fourth article page, but there's nothing there because we haven't created that template yet. 